Well, hello there. I have a monitor here and it's portable and it's by MageDoc. They reached out to me for this one and said, do you want to review our portable monitor? And I said, I like screens. So yes, I said yes, because I do like me a portable monitor. I use laptops a lot if you watch my channel. This one here comes with lots of goodies. Power there, fast, fast charger at, doesn't say the watts, but it has voltages. 100 to 240, so you can use it anywhere basically. Warranty stuff, uh, USB-C to, uh, USB to A. Um, so this is what you could use, uh, you can see that to charge. USB-C to A as well. HDMI, a pen, spoiler alert, it's a, it's a uh, touch screen. Uh, we get a USB-C to C. We get some uh, screws, these are for mounting. And ooh, we get glass cleaner too. And installation stuff. Okay, batteries acquired. So we're gonna put in this quadruple A battery. And probably that way. Okay, so that's in. The uh, pen feels nice. It's nice metal structure. Nice click on the buttons there. That's nice. Kind of a softer touch top there. Kind of a softer touch top there. All right, nice click on these. Very nice. Yeah, it's a nice feeling pen, to be honest. Stylus, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so here is the monitor. Nice glossy, you can see that there. If you know me, you know I like my glossy monitors because the colors will typically pop more. Uh, not too thick, not too thin on the bottom there. A little bit thinner on the top. You know, you get your I.O. You can see that there. All right. On the back there, it does have VESA mount support, so you can put it on a little arm, bring it in, especially because it's a touch screen. It's kind of cool. You can use it for like writing purposes. You get the two speakers there. Of course, you do get a little kickstand. Metal kickstand as well, of course. That's a metal kickstand. Feels nice. Firm, not too firm, but firm. You want it to be, there's, it's a fine line between being too firm, you can't pull it out, and too floppy, that it basically just falls over, right? No real wobble. Right side there, we get a ton of stuff. We get power up, down, X, and probably a menu button. We'll see you later. Uh, rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't slide around. Left side, uh, USB-C, HDMI, USB-C with power, and mini, ooh, has mini display board. That's cool. I don't know if they gave it in the display port, but I have them in display port cable. <gasps> That's cool. I can hook it up to a desktop as a result. And then on the top, there's nothing. Looks nice though. It's a huge screen. Holy smokes. I don't think I've ever used a bigger portable monitor. Okay, so I just it in here. Uh, this is wall power. I could use this, but that's just already plugged in. So that's wall power there. Uh, and then that's the other USB-C that's going into the laptop. This is a ThinkPad P1. Very high-end laptop, obviously. Uh, and that's supplying power. You can see that there. This does accept power over USB-C. The reason that I'm bringing in this laptop here, I did this on purpose. This is a 4K OLED screen with 100% DCI-P. Semi-gloss, semi-matte. This screen here, looks incredible sitting next to it. Look at how good that looks right there, right? This is a 4K OLED screen on a, I don't know, five or $7,000 ThinkPad here. This is a very expensive ThinkPad here. Right off the bat, like I'm shocked. This is this screen is incredible. This is a 4K, 100% DCI-P uh, calibrated screen, OLED. Okay, so we'll turn the brightness up there. Is this on max bright? Yeah, it is. This one. It gets fairly bright, but it's not super bright. That's fine. Uh, okay, so we'll turn the speakers up all the way and then I can control it from Windows. Um, yeah, go like that. Okay, so what else do we have here? Yeah, some kind of automatic, gaming, that kind of mattifies it. I don't really like that that much. That's super vibrant, whatever that is. I kind of like that. Might be over vibrant, but it's super nice. Movies, that's close to this. I'm gonna to try to match these. There's so, there's like, it's actually making a difference. 
I'm gonna go with the movie one. That looks probably closer to that actually. I kind of like the way that looks. It's slightly over like over vibrant, right? But I think that like whatever that is, like the automatic thing is the same as this. So there we go. Okay, so now we're into it here and let's look at the screens here. So we have two OLED screens. There's a reason why I picked these laptop, this laptop here. I have. So this here is a 4K OLED screen, 100% DCI-P, amazing color space, obviously, and it's calibrated from Lenovo. This is a five to $7,000 laptop, very expensive, high-end business machine that I've been testing right now. Incredible screen. This here is also an OLED screen. You can see that the primary differences between them, this Lenovo here has a non-glossy OLED screen. It's like, it's not fully non-glossy, but it's pretty non-glossy. This has a glossy OLED screen. Which do I prefer? I prefer glossy OLEDs. They pop more. They always look more reflective on camera than they are. Uh, but I mean, it's just your pick. I prefer glossy screens because the colors really pop off of them. This one here is also a touch screen. This is a touch screen. So they're pretty good to compare non-glossy or semi-glossy versus full glossy touch screen touch screen so we have a pretty good comparison here and i think they're they maybe the same exact size too this one here has a touch screen but i have to use my finger uh, there's no pen support i don't think it even has pen support this one here i can use my finger of course too but it does have also pen support so let's go in and look at a screen test here we'll look at how it looks on uh, in an image okay so you can see here we have let's bring that up there slightly uh, we have the two screens here both incredibly good color space right so we have that dcip color space 100 dcip color space on both of them can't really see it on camera but the uh, glossy one looks better i mean it's glossy so i can kind of see myself i guess right i suppose but it does look better uh we'll just come slightly forward here and you can just see how incredibly vibrant this is, right? Both of them incredibly vibrant, 4K OLED screens. However, this one here uh, just appears slightly brighter to my eyes. And it also, just because it's glossy, you get a little bit more pop off of it, but they don't both look killer, obviously. Like these are both very high level professional screens. We'll come there. All right, we'll bring that down slightly so we can see what I see. A little bit more glare on this, uh, reflectivity there, right? You can see me a little bit. Can you see me on this one? Uh, not really. Again, personal preference. Uh, the blacks look deeper on this one than they do on that because it's a glossy screen. It really has that 3D effect, whereas this one, it's still fantastic, but it looks better on this one, to be honest. Here, it's not gonna show up on camera. It doesn't show up on camera, unfortunately, but this looks more vibrant because of the glossy. The greens here are just, they're actually like outstanding. This is still fantastic. I've been using this laptop on and off for a month and a half. This one and variants of this exact same laptop. It's an incredible screen. This looks better though. It's just, it's so nice. But let's come in here. Okay, we'll just go through a little bit of this video here. I mean, they're both such nice screens, right? Two 4K OLED screens. The fact that I'm able to bring a portable monitor to match something like this, like people pay a lot of money for OLED screens these days, especially like a high color space, 4K, right? Like it's just, it's so nice. I'm going to do a little audio test here. Right, so it's not super loud or anything. Yeah, so they're fine. I mean, the speakers are, they're pretty quiet, to be honest. Uh, they're speakers, though, in a portable monitor. So, I mean, what do you expect? And they're facing the backside, right? They're actually, like, coming out there. Um, I could probably personally do without the speakers. I don't need them because usually I'm going to be using it with a laptop. But if you had a device that didn't have speakers necessarily or, you know, directional speakers, you could use this then. You could have, you know, your tablet or whatever off to the side, have this with the audio coming out of it, for example, directionally. But, um, yeah, I don't really need speakers in a portable monitor, but it's certainly a thing you could do. Okay, so we'll do a little drawing with the finger here so we can just see how snappy it is. It feels snappy enough. Wee, wee, wee. just like any touch screen with my finger that I've used. 
let's try the pen. So you do get the, uh, the kind of hover style. You can see that there, bring it in so you can actually see what I'm doing. So you do get that kind of hover style thing. You can see that there. I'm not touching the screen, but you can see that little hover thing. And then, all right, feels good. Go straight on. That feels nice and snappy. Very, actually the response time is good. There's like a minor lag because it's a 60 hertz refresh rate, right? So it's not gonna be 140 hertz, 160 hertz refresh rate. Okay, so there's my <laughs> there's my drawing. I just went really quiet for a long time and drew that. It's it's two twenty seven in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Uh, so this is my drawing. Yeah, uh, it's very responsive. I mean, it's not it's not a drawing tablet. Like it's not it's you know it's not specifically what it's for. It's it's really what does a good job. I have no problems with it. Pen's good. Feels nice. Nice and snappy. Uh, you can do, you know, the right click kind of thing, to, uh, the whatever left click thing to do the erase, right? Um, so if you want to go like that and you want to put this down, you can use the other color, you know, do your little racy thing. Uh, this should do a select. If you want to do like a cut, for example, it's fine. And of course that works on Windows too, right? So uh, that's going to be, you know, select like that. That one's going to be your right click. So you can go and do these kind of things too. So it works well. I think another very compelling use for this is if you have a handheld, right? If you hook this up with, you know, an ROG Ally or a Lenovo Legion Go or a Steam Deck, right? You have those off to the side, your device is over to the side. I mean, here I have access to, you know, um, over here I have access to, you know, the keyboard and I have access to a, to a touchpad. So I can come over here and do that. But let's say I'm using my ROG Ally or my Lenovo Legion Go or my MSI Claw or my Steam Deck. Those don't have a mouse and keyboard. like they are a touchscreen device, right? So you're actually using the touchscreen on those devices to navigate. If you plug it in here, all of a sudden, you know, your device is over here, but you're using the screen over here. So you don't have a touchscreen. It's essential, in my opinion, it's essential that an external monitor that you're using for a device, handheld device, like a Legion Go, ROG Ally, Steam Deck, or MSI Claw, uh, or any of the other, like, like other brands, you know, GDP, whatever, you need to have a touchscreen monitor because otherwise you're not gonna be able to navigate your interface, right? Like imagine that I don't have a mouse and keyboard. Imagine this is a closed device here, like a Legion Go, like an ROG Ally. Now what, right? I don't have access to that, right? This is the touch screen over here that I would normally be using to navigate. All of a sudden, I can't navigate on my device over here if it's not touch screen, right? So I'd have to use a mouse and hook that up to my Legion Go, MSI Claw, whatever. I'd have to have that. Here, that's not a problem. Here. I can navigate with this and actually use this to navigate, you know, my Legion Go, my ROG Ally, especially in a Windows environment like this, right? Like this would be exactly how I'd use my ROG Ally Legion Go. You'd be navigating through here. With a static color here, there's zero, zero screen door effect. I'm not seeing it on any of the textures here. No screen door effect whatsoever. Uh, it's really nice. So that's a 10 out of 10 for me. That's the Mage Dock portable 4K OLED screen touchscreen with pen support. It's outstanding. Like it's actually legitimately outstanding. I'm gonna be using this thing all the time. It's it's really, really an outstanding device here. It's really outstanding. So 10 out of 10 for me, it's fantastic. Uh, thanks to Mage Dog for sending this over. This thing is sick. Actually, legitimately sick. Actually sick. Thank you.